Hey, hit stick football fans. The Chargers are shaking things up this offseason, going all in on a massive overhaul that's got everyone talking. From a new head coach to dramatic player moves, this could be the season that changes everything for the Bolts. Are they gearing up for a deep playoff run? Or is this just another rebuild in disguise? Let's dive deep into the Chargers' biggest moves and see what's really going on. If you're ready for some unfiltered NFL analysis, hit that like button, subscribe, and smash the bell so you never miss a video. First up, let's talk about the blockbuster moves the Chargers have made this offseason. The Chargers made waves by bringing Jim Harbaugh back to the NFL with a substantial contract rumored to be around $12 million per year over five years. Harbaugh's hiring isn't just about coaching, it's a complete culture reset aimed at installing discipline and a winning mentality. Drafted fifth overall, Joe Alt is one of the top offensive tackle prospects in the draft. The Chargers are making a clear commitment to protecting their franchise quarterback, Justin Herbert, with this high-profile pick. Gus Edwards, signed to a two-year deal worth $5.5 million, Edwards is here to add a bruising style to the Chargers' running game. He's a perfect fit for Harbaugh's power run philosophy. Selected in the sixth round, Kimani Vidal is already turning heads in camp. Don't let his draft position fool you. This kid could be the sleeper pick of the draft. With his explosiveness and versatility, he fits perfectly into the new-look Harbaugh offense. These additions aren't just about filling gaps. They're about changing the team's entire identity from finesse to physical. But for every addition, there's a subtraction. And the Chargers have said goodbye to some big names. Austin Eakler's departure, following a trade that sent him packing for a draft pick, signals the end of an era. His ability to catch out of the backfield will be missed. But Harbaugh seems intent on going back to a more traditional, ground-and-pound style of football. Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. The Chargers shocked everyone by letting these two go, clearing out veteran talent to make room for a new-look receiving core. By trading Allen to the Bears, the Chargers cleared $11.6 million in cap space, allowing them to invest elsewhere. It's a high-risk, high-reward move that could redefine their offensive strategy. These losses could dramatically shift the team dynamics, but it's clear the Chargers are looking to reset and refresh their identity. So what's the master plan behind all these moves? Let's break it down. By hiring Harbaugh with a hefty contract, the Chargers are not just investing in a coach, but in a new era. Harbaugh's philosophy is clear. Build a tough, disciplined team that can grind out games with a strong run game and a stout defense. Joe Alt's selection as the fifth overall pick shows the Chargers are committed to giving Justin Herbert the time and space he needs to operate. After all, a top quarterback is only as good as the protection he gets, and Alt is a major upgrade. Gus Edwards' two-year deal emphasizes a move toward the more physical running game, aligning perfectly with Harbaugh's approach. This is a departure from the Eckler-led backfield of the past, focusing instead on a power-running duo. Kimani Vidal might be a sixth-round pick, but his potential to be a key contributor in a variety of roles makes him a wild card in this offensive overhaul. Don't be surprised if Vidal becomes a fan favorite with his dynamic playstyle. The Chargers are betting big on a cultural and strategic shift moving away from the past reliance on a high-flying offense to a more balanced, controlled game plan under Harbaugh. Here's what the experts are saying about the Chargers' bold off-season moves. Yard Barker notes, the Chargers' decision to bring in Harbaugh, Burry, and overhaul their roster could either be the genius move that propels them to greatness or a misstep that costs them dearly. Sporting News argues, by focusing on power running and stout defense, the Chargers are moving away from the pass-heavy schemes that defined them. But will this identity change make them a playoff contender? PFF is cautious, stating, the Chargers have rolled the dice, banking on Harbaugh's experience to steer the ship. It's a risky bet, but it might just pay off if the pieces fall into place. The analysts are clearly divided, but one thing's for sure, the Chargers are going all in this season. Will it be enough? Now, let's cut to the chase. The Chargers might finish 11-6 and, and make the playoffs, but don't expect a smooth ride. This team is built for drama. With Harbaugh's hard-nosed coaching style and a new power run game, 
we could see some epic clashes and maybe even some sideline fireworks. We predict the Chargers will make a splash in the AFC wildcard round, but ultimately fall short. This season is all about proving they're not just hype, but can they do it? We're putting it out there. This could either be the rebirth of a contender or a colossal bust. Where do you stand? Let's hear it in the comments. Drop your thoughts below, and as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay on top of all things NFL with Hit Stick Football. Let's hear what you think. Thanks for watching.